Back to the States. Hundreds of firefighters fighting to contain six major wildfires in Southern California. The blaze has tripled in size over the past 24 hours, leading to the evacuation of more than a thousand homes northwest of Los Angeles. Firefighters are hopeful they can bring the blaze under control before it reaches the coastal resort of Malibu. These pictures taken at night give an idea of the intensity of the fires ripping through Southern California. And it's clear just how much land is being swallowed up by the flames. Firefighters are doing what they can following the outbreaks, planning where to make a stand. Local officials have ordered thousands in the fire's path out of their homes. Dave and Cheryl Novak tried to hold out until the last possible minute. We've lived in fire areas but and seen lots of fires, but this one was the scariest. Conditions here have been ripe for fires. Record high temperatures, low humidity, little rain and dry trees. Add strong Santa Ana winds from the east and this is what happens. This is a wake-up call for everybody in California to be prepared. About 40 square kilometers has already been eaten up by the flames and it's possible they could burn all the way to the Pacific Ocean, 16 kilometers from the start point. Elsewhere in California, another fire in the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains has burned about seven square kilometers, taking out fields and homes. Diane Delaney came back to find her home gone. I kept telling my husband, don't stress, God's got a plan, and apparently he wants us to slow down and breathe, so, well, we've been married 38 years. This is just gonna create another journey in our life. Firefighters put out the flames in about 20% of the woodland by Friday evening, but fires are still burning elsewhere. Emergency crews have blocked expressways and schools have been closed. No injuries have been reported. At least 15 houses have been partially damaged. But I'm, uh, I want to save my home. And uh, I've invested a lot in this house and uh, a lot of time and memories, and I uh, don't want to lose it. So. I'm here until the end, whatever it takes. And this is what they're dealing with. The flames have reached right down to the Pacific Ocean here at Malibu. And as you can see, have chewed their way through this uh, bush and gorse as fuel. And uh, what they're trying to do now is create some breaks to stop that getting any worse. If you look up here, the guys wearing orange outfits are actually from local penitentiaries. They're inmates who've been drafted in to cut away at that bush to create some breaks and stop the fire in its tracks before it reaches any further. They're being helped enormously by the, the winds, cooler winds that are now coming off the ocean here. They've turned around and that at least is giving them a fighting chance of dealing with this fire. It is hot and choking work, but this is the best way of keeping the spread in check. And the coastline has at least put one big obstacle in the fire's way. It's made its run. It's not going to go much further west. It can't. So uh, it's about as far as it's going to go this way. But not far away, the blaze did jump the Pacific Coast Highway, badly damaging a naval base and forcing the evacuation of dozens from military homes. Better today versus yesterday? What's better today is we're going to have more forces in place to combat the fire with. Um, what's probably going to be worse today is the weather. You're just going to let this thing burn right into the ocean. That's, yeah, that's the plan. When we have this much wind behind it, that's really about all we can do. We, we get on the flanks, we want to get on the side of it, we try to contain it, and we try to run this thing right into the Pacific Ocean. The good news is that the weather forecast is improving. As soon as Sunday, there may, there just may, be some rain.